So welcome to the My Maths tutorial for percentage change one. Uh, you are allowed to use a calculator for this homework, which is very handy, but you should use pen and paper to show some workings, writing down what you type in your calculator. It's always useful for workings. And also you should have done the lesson first. I'll explain how to do these questions, but if you haven't already done the lesson, you might not understand what I'm doing or why. Okay, so let's begin. So, worded questions, right? In a sale, a clothes shop reduces its prices by 20%. A shirt usually costs 28 pounds. How much is the sale? So, if it reduces its prices by 20%, then we've got a couple of options here. We could realize that the shirt now costs 80%, and we work out 80% of 28 pounds. So 0 0.80 times 28, press the SD button, and we're going to get £22.40. So that's one way of doing it. And the other way would be to work out what 20% is and take it away. Now, I would say doing it the first way is best because we've got a calculator. Okay, We can type things in like finding 80% of something, which is easier than having to do two things, finding 20% and subtracting it. Okay, But if there's a non-calculator thing, I would probably find 20% and subtract it. Right, now, uh, same sort of thing here. 80% of 72 pounds is going to be 0 0.80 times 72. You're going to get... Your calculator says 57.6 once you press the SD button, so that's 57 pounds 60. Next question. The boss gives all his employees a 4% pay rise. Paul used to earn 10 pounds an hour. How much does he get after the rise? So he used to get 10 pounds an hour. Now uh, he's increased by 4%. So from 100%, he's up to 104%. So we've got to find out 104% of 10. So it's going to be 1.04 times by 10. Press the SD button, and now he's getting £10.40. Doesn't seem like much, but if you add up a lot of hours, that four, extra 40 pence is going to be uh, useful. So 104% of this amount now, so 1.04 times 13,600, means that now Sandy's going to earn £14,144 in a year an extra um, 500 pounds or so okay great next question using multipliers so using a multiplier to increase the amount by 20 percent so that's what we were doing on the previous page so if you think the amount is 100 percent originally increase it by 20 percent that's 120 percent which is 1.28 as a multiplier Decrease an amount by 39%. So you start off with 100%. If you decrease, you take away 39%. You're left to 61%, which is 0.61. The work at these percentage changes. Increase 11 pounds by 80%. So it's going to be 1.80, because that's an increase of 80%, times 11. That's going to be 19 pounds 80. Increase 320 pounds by 39%. So we now want 1.39, because that's 139%, times 320. It's going to be 444 pounds 80. Remember to press the SD button to turn it into a decimal. And remember to put the extra zero on the end if necessary for pounds and pence. Decrease now, so don't get tricked. Decrease by 80% means that we're going to go down to 20%. 100 take away 80 is 20. So we want 20%, which is 0 0.20 times 23, which is going to be 4.6, which is £4.60. And then decrease 420% by 46, sorry, £420 by 46%. So a decrease of 46% is down to 54%. So it's going to be 0 0.54, the multiplier, times by 420. And that's going to be £226.80. Okay, so 
might have to go over that a couple of times. You might have to pause it at certain points and think about it yourself. You might have to go back and look at the lesson. You might have to ask me for help. But you should um, you should get this if you concentrate. Okay, so let me know if you've got any.